Are you working on an Arduino project where you have to take code from two or more places and combine them into the same program, but it's turning into a Jerry Springer show? One of the sketches is throwing chairs and the other one's swearing at the top of their lungs. It's a total nightmare. I mean, you have one sketch, it does one thing. You have another sketch, it does another thing. Why can't these sketches hug, make friends, and, and work together? I think this calls for a little Arduino therapy session. Now, I'm not a licensed therapist or anything like that, but I have watched What About Bob, so I got a, got a couple ideas. In fact, it's a seven-step program that I want you to go through to get your sketches working together like a real team. Let's call it a prescription for your Arduino project. Side effects might include upset stomach, dry mouth, and explosive bowels. Are you ready? Let's go. So here's the complete seven-step program that I've laid out in eight easy sections to follow. We're going to go through them one by one. So what you need to do first is make sure that each Arduino program that you are going to be combining works on its own. So what do I mean exactly by works? Well, here's what I mean. First, each sketch should compile in the Arduino IDE. So when you have one of your sketches open and you click the check mark in the top left, you shouldn't get any error messages. Second, when you have the circuit made, you're able to upload your sketch to the Arduino board using the upload button and the circuit behaves as you expect. All right, let's talk about a quick example. Let's say you have two sketches you want to combine. One controls servo motors and the other one uses a voice recognition module. You need to make sure that your servo code compiles and you need to build the circuit for that servo code. So you've got all your servos set up and by itself, it needs to be working. And then you need to do the exact same thing for your voice recognition code. You need to have that program working well without errors, and you need to have its circuit set up independently of the other one. This might mean that you need to lay out the circuits on two separate breadboards, and that's okay. And what is also really important here is that you're using the same type of Arduino board for each circuit. You can't check one sketch on an Arduino Uno and then the other sketch on an Arduino Nano. Both sketches need to be working properly on the same type of Arduino board. Now, the reason why this is so important is because sometimes Arduino libraries are board dependent. That is, they may be compatible with one kind of Arduino board, but not another. I know this may sound obvious, but you can't take two sketches that don't work and then combine them and expect them to work. It will just be more Jerry Springer. Think about it this way. Say you have two cups of milk, but one of the cups has red food coloring in it. If you combine these into a single container, now they'll both be red. So now that you know each sketch works independently and that each of their circuits work independently, now what I want you to do is combine the two circuits together. So let's use that servo example I had before. I've got this servo circuit set up and I have a voice recognition module circuit set up. Now what I need to do is combine these two circuits together using the same Arduino board. This is gonna do a couple things for you. First, you might notice that the circuits share similar pins. If they do, then you have to figure out if this is gonna be okay for them to share a pin or if you're gonna to have to use different pins. For example, in my servo code, the circuit uses a 16 channel PWM driver that uses an I squared C bus, which are pins four and five on the Arduino Nano, and that's the board that's being used for this project. But I also need to use that I squared C bus for the voice recognition module. Now, luckily, since both of these peripherals use I squared C, they're able to share those same pins, but you might not be so lucky, so you gotta figure that out. Okay, so now you have merged the two circuits together. So in my example, I've got my servo circuit and my voice recognition circuit all running off of the same Arduino. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna upload one of the sketches first. So remember, we had two separate working sketches. That was step one, right? I'm just gonna take one of those working sketches, the servo sketch, I'm gonna upload it to my Arduino board and make sure that it works now that we've got this combined circuit. Then what I'm gonna do, after I can verify that it's working, is I'm gonna try the other sketch just by itself, but with this new, more complicated circuit. So we haven't changed anything in the code. 
We're just making sure that the programs are working now that we've merged the circuit. Now, if you did have to change pin numbers, now's the time in those separate programs to change the pin numbers. So if either one of those programs aren't working, you need to stop and get clarity on the circuit. If that means shifting around pin numbers in the circuit and in the code, or maybe using a different Arduino board that has more pins or something else like that, you need to do this before you start trying to combine the programs. I mean, imagine if you had two cups of milk, but one was poisoned with cyanide. If you combined the cups and drank it, you'd still be poisoned. Okay, now if you've made it this far, you might start feeling a little bit cocky. I mean, you've got two programs that are compiling on their own and the circuits are working on their own. In fact, you might be like, I'm just gonna paste all this code together and go for it. Instead of just pasting everything together, here's what I want you to do. I want you to create a new sketch and delete everything in it. This sketch is gonna be the place where all your code comes together to live happily ever after. Now make sure you save it and give it a good name so that you can remember where it is. Next, at the top of this blank sketch, I want you to write out a to-do list in comments. So this list will express everything you want your program to do in a logical kind of order. If you have a simple program, this can be a really short list. Let's take a look at this to-do list for my servo and voice recognition module project. Just as a little background, all that servo and voice recognition code I was talking about is actually from one of our members. She built this cool Iron Man mask using servo code, but now she wants it to be voice activated. So she's trying to figure out, hey, how can I integrate the voice activation code that I've got here into this servo code? Now, notice in my to-do list, I have some nested commands. You might have nested commands and nested commands. It's sort of like a little algorithm almost saying like, hey, what needs to happen when? And the more you can make this look like an algorithm, the better off you're gonna be. And it's this to-do list that I am going to use when I start combining my code. Now that you've written out your to-do list and you know exactly what this sketch needs to do for you, what you're gonna do is go to one of the sketches you need to combine, copy the entire piece of code and paste it below your to-do list. Now you might be like, hey, which one should I copy and paste in to the new sketch? Well, that's up to you. Generally, I'm gonna pick the one that I think is gonna be doing most of the work or the one that has the most code in it. I'll paste that in first. For example, I'm gonna pick the voice recognition module code when I'm doing this because it has a layout in the loop that I think is gonna work for operating the servos. Now. Once you've pasted that code over into this new sketch, I need you to do a very important step. You need to verify it and upload and make sure it's working with the circuit. Now you might be like, Mike, I already did that. Why would I do it again? Well, here's the deal. You just copied code from one sketch and pasted it into another. Anytime you copy and paste code, there is a chance that you'll have either forgotten something like those devilish curly braces or somehow added code that shouldn't even be there. So do not be laissez-faire with your copy and paste. Think of copy and paste like you're a type rope walker going over Niagara Falls. One wrong step and you fall to your death. Okay, well maybe that's a little exaggerated, but pretend you're taking a camping trip to Niagara Falls and you wanna make sure you have everything packed up before you go because you don't wanna forget something. It's kind of a pain. All right, so we are finally at the point where we're gonna start actually combining these programs together. It's taken a long time to get here, but the battle has just begun because in reality, you're probably gonna have two sketches that do two different things and you wanna combine them to do a new thing. For example, in the servo code, there are a bunch of buttons that operate the servos. Well, I don't need buttons anymore. And in the voice recognition code, 
it only listens for three voice commands, but I need it to respond to at least five different commands. So what you need to do before you start bringing in the other sketch is look at the existing sketch, the one that you pasted over in its entirety, and start to trim out stuff that you don't think is necessary. And I want you to do this one line of code at a time. Every time you remove a line, verify the code in the Arduino IDE and make sure everything is still working. Now you might be like, Mike, you're being overly cautious. And listen, I am. That's because if you are new to Arduino programming, it is really hard to know whether something's vestigial or super duper important. The reason you want to trim your code is because you don't want a bunch of stuff in there that's not helping your program out. It's just going to get in the way. Okay, so once you've trimmed this sketch, then what you need to do is adjust it to start knocking off some of your to-do list. Okay, so for example, my voice recognition sketch, I mentioned it only responds to three voice commands, but I needed to respond to five different commands. So before I start pulling in any code from that servo example, I'm going to adjust it and I'm going to try to get it to respond to five voice commands. So once my current sketch is trimmed and adjusted, now I'm going to start copying in that other code. And guess what? I'm going to do it line by line, verifying each time I paste in a new line of code. Yes, I know, like dump trucks full of caution. And you might be thinking, Mike, you're just going overboard. You're really dumb. And you have a point. I'm not smart. But listen, therapy is hard and you have to put in the work. Follow the process. Now, listen, if you're a more seasoned developer, I mean, take more liberties, but if you're looking at this code, maybe you didn't write it, maybe ChatGPT wrote it, maybe you just borrowed it from somewhere, you really don't know how it works, but you really want it to work, then I'm telling you, just go slow, line by line. What this is gonna do is help you find your errors faster. And when you find errors faster, you can solve them faster and actually get your program up and running. Now, when you start pasting in code, I want you to do it like this. You're going to go to the other sketch, the one that needs to be merged in, and you're going to start at the top and you're going to work your way down again, line by line. Now, an Arduino program has two main functions called setup and loop. And in a single Arduino program, there can only be one setup function and one loop function. So what you need to do when you copy a piece of code is pay attention to where it is relative to setup and loop and then paste it in the appropriate spot. So if the code is above setup in one sketch, make sure you have it above setup in the other sketch. If it's in the loop in one sketch, make sure you paste it into the loop of the other sketch. So as you're copying and pasting code, if there's something that you don't think you need, then don't copy it over. There's no reason to put code in your new sketch that's not going to be used. But if you're in doubt, copy it over and then maybe you can remove it later. Now I've already touched on this, but the big reason I want you to copy code over line by line is because you're going to be able to see when an error pops up. So you're going to copy a line over, you're going to verify your sketch. If you don't get any errors, copy another line over. But as soon as you get an error, you need to stop and figure out what the error is then proceed copying stuff over. In this code that you're combining, there's probably going to be things like if statements, for loops, switch case statements, while loops, if else, like all that kind of stuff. I highly recommend getting up to speed on some of these common control structures. There's a section in this video that's really going to help you out. Not only is it going to talk about control structures, but it's going to fill in a bunch of your Arduino knowledge gaps right here.